Finance, marketing, sales, or operations are not the most important skills of an entrepreneur. Today, I want to talk about what I believe is the number one skill every entrepreneur must have, resilience. I'll be sharing my own journey and experiences to illustrate why resilience is so crucial. I get asked a lot, what inspired me to become an entrepreneur? Well, for me, it was all about control, control over my time and control over my income. I realized pretty quickly that I could monetize my own skills much faster and at a higher level than any employer could. Like many people, I wanted to be my own boss, but the challenge was figuring out how to make that happen. One of the biggest challenges I faced early on was believing that if I had a foolproof plan, that would ensure my success. For example, I once meticulously planned out to hire 10 people. I documented every step and ex executed my plan perfectly, only to find out that things didn't go out as planned. This was incredibly stressful. Another time I launched this new project with a detailed timeline and consulted with experienced people, but again, things didn't pan out as expected. It was so frustrating, but it taught me a valuable lesson. Flexibility is key. You have to be agile and ready to pivot because in entrepreneurship, things rarely go as expected. So how did I overcome these challenges? I had to get comfortable with the idea that things wouldn't always go as planned and learn to pivot. I adopted the mindset that there's always a pathway to your goals, even if it's not the one you originally mapped out for yourself. For example, when I planned to open up my massage school, nothing went according to plan. I faced delays with finding a location, getting inspections, and finalizing my curriculum. It would have been easy for me to give up, and trust me, I considered it many times, but I kept pushing forward, adjusting my plan as needed. The one question I continuously ask myself is, why was I doing this? What was my end goal here? For me, it was about being able to control my time and leverage my skills for something bigger. Shifting my mindset from simply reaching the end goal to enjoying and learning from the journey kept me going. Every setback was an opportunity to learn and to approve. A prime example of resilience directly contributing to my success is when we purchased a Jersey Mike franchise in July of 2021. Initially, I thought we'd start generating cash flow immediately, just like my previous Amazon DSP business. But month after month, we struggled to meet our sales goal. It was frustrating and there was times we thought about giving up. However, we stayed patient and resilient, continually marketing and improving our operations. Over time, as more stores opened up around us and the area began to develop, our sales improved significantly. When you are looking to go from point A to point B, there are many roadblocks and failures that will come along the way. Doing your best to learn from these roadblocks and failures will accelerate your journey from point B to point C. Staying motivated during difficult times is essential. For instance, we had a flood at our spa right before Mother's Day, one of our biggest sales period. It was a disaster. We had to close the spa, pay our employees, and cover rent without any income. Instead of wallowing in frustration, which I did for a little bit, we used the downtime to staff, to train our staff, and launch new services. When we reopened, we were better prepared than ever, turning a potential disaster into an opportunity for growth. Building and maintaining resilience involves viewing every experience, good or bad, as a learning opportunity. There's always something to learn, especially from failures. Sharing these experiences too with others can also provide valuable insight and support. Remember, failure is just part of the process. My perspective on failure has completely changed since becoming an entrepreneur. If you're not failing, you're not doing enough. You need to push yourself to take bigger challenges. Failure isn't a reflection of your abilities. It's a sign that you're stretching your limits and growing. For aspiring entrepreneurs, my advice on developing resilience is simple. You can't learn resilience from a book or a workshop or a class. It's a hands-on practice. You have to go through the experiences, face the challenges and learn from them. It's like building a muscle. You have to work it out in order for it to become stronger. Whenever I'm facing very tough situations, I remind myself of a mantra. It's really my husband's mantra. This too shall pass. 
It's a simple but powerful reminder that tough times are temporary and brighter days are ahead. I hope you guys have found my experience helpful and provided you with some additional insight on the importance of resilience in entrepreneurship. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.